What's going on, Lawn Care Nation? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri, and today I have the brand new setup. So, how do I look? How do I sound? Uh, I've got the new Rode Mic Pro Plus, and I have the uh, new GoPro Hero 8. So, trying it out today. I'm gonna be out mowing. Uh, we've had so much rain here lately that things are a little wet. So, uh, just out really checking on some lawns, seeing what's dry enough to mow. So here at one of our properties that we take care of. Got a lot of grass behind me to cut. Um, I'm gonna check it out, see if it's dry enough, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unload the mowers. Just wanted to try out the new video, uh, the new audio, see what it looks like, see what it sounds like. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you can hear me better than the old mic, and uh, let me know what you think of the video. So I'm gonna unload the mowers, we're gonna get rolling. So let's check out how tall the grass is. Haven't mowed it in a couple weeks. And there are some tall sprigs out here. Grass is still a little wet. Got a nice, nice dew on the ground. But uh, the ground feels pretty solid. I don't really see a whole lot of wet spots. Now that I say that, it's still a little bit more soft over this way, so this may be a job for the Toro Titan. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Toro Titan out and try to sneak across this wet area. Man, we had like rain for five, six days straight. We got tall sprigs up to my knees over here, but we had a lot of rain. Trying to mow some of those lawns that, um, you know, that are kind of rough. This is kind of a rough lawn entrance to a subdivision. It's pretty rough out here. It's not nice grass that like, like a lot of you guys mow in those nice subdivisions. It's just whatever grows out here, that's what we mow. So I'm gonna get the Titan out and we'll see what we can do.
so that area down there um, at the very far end it was uh, pretty wet uh, but the Toro Titan's able to sneak through it. I definitely would have made tracks and probably ruts if I would have had the heavier uh, Z3X out there. So chose to run with the Titan. Now when it's wet like this, I, I typically don't mow the lawn more than one time. But uh, I decided to go over it twice uh, because, you know, it didn't look good going over it just one time. So went ahead and went over it twice. Tried to be careful. Tried not to leave ruts. And uh, it looks pretty good. There's actually a deer over here. Uh, moving through the woods kind of feeding along the side of the woods. You probably can't see it in the video because it's uh, It's probably good a hundred yards away, but I'm gonna flip the camera around see if you guys can see it And actually it has a fawn with it, so it's Just right through here Walking right through here uh, You guys probably can't see it, but man, it's nice and peaceful out here have some deer feeding along uh, the woods line. I'm out here mowing, it's quiet, it's nice. I'm gonna hop over here and I'm gonna mow the rest of this and then uh, just kind of work my way around. I have all this to do all the way down to the end of the road. And then once I get uh, the right of way on that side and on this side done, have a little bit more, there's like an island over there and then there's a little bit more down that road to the right. So just kind of mowing the right of ways here. Just kind of mowing the right of ways here, but I'm gonna crank this dude back up and get rolling. Hope you guys can hear me. Hope you guys can see me better uh, than the old GoPro. Kind of like this uh, GoPro, you know, um, grip. It's pretty nice. It's easy to hold on to. Uh, let me know what you think of the Hyper Smooth on a GoPro Hero 8 uh, when I'm mowing back and forth. Uh, does it look real shaky or does it look pretty smooth compared to the older videos? It should look a whole lot better. So I'm excited to see how this uh, turns out. But anyways, I'm going to get rolling and I'm going to get the rest of this knocked out. All right guys, so I've switched over to the other side of the road here. So when you come in on the right side of the road and it is, it's tall, first of all, and it's thick and it's wet. So tires are wet, grass is like two feet tall and it's really thick. I'm cutting it on four inches right now. Um, like I said, I haven't cut it in two weeks. So let's see what this Toro Titan can do. Two times with the Toro Titan. Man, it looks pretty good. We're gonna go with that. Um, did pretty well. It was thick, it was nasty, wet, but the Toro Titan got it done. Let's just walk across uh, this area over here and just see how it looks. 
So not bad, not bad for being wet, tall, thick. Cut pretty good with the Toro Titan. This is very, very rough through here. Got these little ruts that somebody has made over the years, but either way, looks pretty good. Got that side done. It's time to head out to the front. It's a little different using the side discharge, man. I've been mulching everything up, so it's like, I gotta make two passes over here, blow the grass that way. I did get a little bit of grass in the road down there, but I'll go ahead and blow that back into the yard. But I'm like, what am I even doing out here? I'm trying to figure out which way to blow it. Used to that mulch kit, man. You just head down one way, come back the other way, and you don't have to worry about blowing that grass out in the road or I don't know, this is kind of a narrow stretch through here. Make about six passes with the mower, so uh, you gotta make two passes, blowing it that way, or three, and then uh, blow everything back this way. So everything kind of clumped in the middle, but um, with the Toro type, man, looks pretty good. So while he's uh, heading down there to trim the rest of this, I'm gonna hop on the PB8010. I'm gonna get on the Ferris Z3X. I'm gonna blow this off really, really fast. This is how you blow off a lot of grass really fast. Just strap the uh, blower to you, hop on this stander, and then uh, take off and blow it all off. Got a lot of grass to blow off today, so got a little wind. Let's see if it affects us. So that is the easiest way to blow off a subdivision, a lot of uh, a lot of grass on the sidewalk or wherever, man. If you can ride around on the stander, use the blower. It'll save you a whole lot of time. I remember years ago before I had the standards, what I would do, I would. Uh, I would put the blower on like the foot platform of the Toros and I had the tube sticking out on the right side and I would just hammer the throttle down, um, lock it and cruise and uh, I would blow it all off down through here. I've never walked and blown all this off. I've always used either the Toro mower or the standard now, but uh, save you a lot of time, man. I'm sure you guys do it too, but Anything to save a little time helps out. So I've got this one done. I'm going to head to uh, grab some lunch. Then Zach's going to meet up with me and and help me uh, finish up the day. But I got some bad news. Man, so it's rained all week. Just now really getting out and getting in the lawns mode because it's just been too wet. 
and Zach's helping me today, but tomorrow he heads out to Colorado for a week. So I'm way behind. It's been raining. Haven't gotten anything done. And then uh, next week I was planning on hitting it hard, but his family's going on a little vacation. So hopefully they get to head to Colorado, have a whole lot of fun and just kick back, relax, see some new things, hopefully while I'm over here struggling. But hopefully I can get some friends to kind of help me out and uh, we can push through next week and uh, this weekend as well. So that's the game plan. But anyways, I hope I sound good. hope I, um, I look good with this new camera, new microphone. Let me know what you guys think about it. Just wanted to try it out today and uh, yeah, and see, see how it does. Hopefully I got all the settings right. I don't know. I think I do, but we'll find out. <laughs> anyways, I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Hope you guys have a good day, man. And as always, God provides.